that wave the cornfields. In the distance loom the woodlands clear and... Hello, everybody. Debbie and I'd like to give you a quick overview of New Harmony, Indiana. We discovered New Harmony uh, just about this time last year and really became excited about uh, the quaintness and the serenity of the town. We thought, gee, what a great place for WCIO. So that's where we'll be in six months. The entire town is a National Historic Landmark uh, on the National Register of Historic Places. It was founded in 1814, two years before Indiana became a state. What we like about it is just everybody is very friendly. When we met the, uh, the shop owners, the uh, hotel staff, uh, everybody is friendly. Even the uh, police officer waved at us as, as we first drove into town. On his golf cart. Oh no, we were on the golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a normal little city. It's like a little Mayberry only with golf carts. Driving down North Street now, are uh, Debbie and Chris in a golf cart. <laughs> a little story about the golf carts. So that's how uh, so many people get around town in New Harmony is on golf carts. Mm -hmm. So we thought it'd be a treat for everybody. What we're going to do is rent uh, 10 golf carts, have available for everybody to take out whatever they want. You can take your little 200 yard trip from the uh, New Harmony Inn down to our hospitality suite, which is what uh, Debbie and Chris are doing right now in this video. <laughs> so. If I can get them to wave, hello. I mean, the neatest thing about New Harmony is you can just, you feel like you're just in a place all by yourself. That's the neat thing about the New Harmony Inn. It's just very quaint. The rooms are very nice. Um, most of the rooms in the building that we're going to be staying in overlook the, the water and the woods back in there off of the Wabash. It's just so surreal. In fact, an LA Times writer uh, said that think of Williamsburg, Virginia and Sedona, Arizona humming together in some kind of paranormal convergence. That's New Harmony today. In fact, New Harmony was chosen as one of the America's dozen distinctive destinations by the National Trust for Historic Preservation. The town was founded in 1814 by uh, German Lutherans uh, who are called the Harmonists that left Harmony, Pennsylvania and moved to New Harmony, Indiana. They bought 2,000 acres of land and tended fields, vineyards, and orchards. Um, and at the time, they said it was, uh, they made the wilderness smile. In 1825, Harmonists uh, relocated back to uh, Economy, Pennsylvania, by Pittsburgh. And the Welsh industrialist, Robert Owen, bought the town. And his concept was to create another utopia based on education and uh, social sharing. And he brought in uh, people called a boatload of knowledge. Now that we've given you a little background on the town of New Harmony, we're going to tell you a little bit about the New Harmony Inn. The slogan is, find your way back to quiet. Uh, the inn has about 90 rooms. There are two wings, and we'll virtually have one wing to ourselves. 18 rooms have fireplaces, many with balconies, patios, and lake views. The rooms bring you back to that old world setting. The furniture looks like the handmade type furniture, the poster beds, the hardwood floors that creak as you walk, which is just a, just gives you that back to earth simplicity. Most of the rooms, like Ron was saying, have fireplaces and balconies. Some of the balconies do overlook the lake and also the woods going back into where the Wabash River begins. You will find throughout the um, New Harmony end on their grounds as well as all over the town of New Harmony that there are sculptures made from different artists all over the world. Something different that we would like to uh, share with everybody is our hospitality suite is going to be an 1860s house. It's a four bedroom house about 200 yards down. The granary was, was um, circa 1818. It was originally a, um, a barn, I guess. The um, farmers from harvesting their wheat and their corn would go in there. It used to be one, four stories. 
It was five stories. It was five stories, and it's now two stories converted. There's a, a downstairs that's used for weddings, for business meetings, receptions, and then they have upstairs, they have a big area that's that was used for, like the weddings are held downstairs, and the receptions are held upstairs, which is a just huge, big open room with the exposed beams, original beams. The original water wheel is down at the bottom on the first floor. We're eating there at one, that will be one of our dinners. What I'm working on, I hope we can get this done, is get us on Wednesday golf at Victoria National Golf Club. Now this club is ranked at number 24 in America's Greatest 100 Golf Courses by Golf Digest and was the number one uh, best in state by Golf Digest a couple years ago. New Harmony is 20 some miles west of Evansville. Uh, Evansville is the third largest city in Indiana. The mayor of Evansville, Jonathan Weisapel, has uh, agreed to be one of our speakers. I'm Jonathan Weinsaffel, mayor of Evansville, Indiana. I'm glad you've chosen to hold the WCIO national meeting in our neck of the woods. Southwestern Indiana is a pretty special place. I should know, not only am I the mayor of the largest city in the region, I was born and raised right here in Posey County. I hope you enjoy New Harmony's unique blend of rich history, modern architecture, and small town charm. On behalf of Southwestern Indiana, I welcome you to the region. Another speaker we've lined up is Howard Kelman, who is the uh, voice of the Indianapolis Indians. Howard does a lot of broadcasting of sports throughout Indiana. He was just this year inducted into the Indiana Broadcasters Hall of Fame. Jim Fergosi, you may recall, was a pretty good shortstop for the California Angels in the 1960s. And this one Saturday night, the Angels were in Boston. And after the game, Fergosi went to a bar, as ball players do occasionally. And Fergosi met this woman at the bar. And he had a wonderful conversation with her. After a while, he said to her, would you like to leave with me? And she smiled back at him and she said, yes, I would. And I'd like you to take me to midnight mass. He said, that isn't what I had in mind. But okay, if you insist on going to midnight mass, we'll go there. So they go to midnight mass. She drops him off at the team's hotel afterward. That's the end of it. Next day, Fergosi comes to bat in the very first inning. First pitch is right down the middle. But the plate umpire, Ed Hurley, did not call it a strike. He says, ball one. Fergosi stepped out of the box, turned to him and smiled and said, well, thank you, Ed. And Ed Hurley said, no, thank you for taking my daughter to midnight mass. <laughs> so how do we get you to New Harmony? Well, there's a couple of ways. You can fly into the Evansville Regional Airport. We check the internet and uh, from all our major towns for our WCIO members there you can get to Evansville via one stop. Uh, you can also fly in directly to Louisville and St. Louis and then it's a couple hour drive from either of those towns to get to New Harmony. On the banks of the Wabash